Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here at Whiteboard Doctor. We appreciate you checking it out. Uh, today is going to be a combination of two topics that we have covered previously. It's going to be kind of bringing those topics together. Um, and that is the volume control or assist control volume control or assist volume control or ACVC. That's going to be the volume control scalers and the pressure control scalers or assist control pressure control or assist pressure control uh, side by side. So we're going to bring kind of the two concepts together. Um, the culmination videos are we talked about both volume control and pressure control scalers uh, in two separate videos. Definitely check those out. Those are going to be more detailed videos. Today we're bringing those topics together so that we can see things side by side and we're going to play off of those videos. So we will link those videos in this video's description. Uh, we'll also link them in the top right corner uh, in series coming up here in just a second. If you have not seen those, we'd highly recommend you check those out. Certainly you can just watch this video uh, without those, but those will provide a good foundation to better understand this video. So with no further ado, quick 30 second break for the introduction. Don't go anywhere. We will see you right back. Hello everyone and welcome to another video here at Whiteboard Doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Here at Whiteboard Doctor, our mission is to provide you with free, interesting, relevant, understandable medical education and news for all types of lifelong learners, trainees, and practitioners. We have weekly videos that we debut Fridays at 5 p.m. Eastern Time with bonus medical education videos posted throughout the week. We'd love for you to join the Whiteboard Doctor community and follow along by hitting the subscribe button located in the bottom right-hand corner. We also encourage all likes and comments, even if it is just to say hello. All our video descriptions contain links for additional related videos that might be interesting, so don't forget to check those out. And lastly, a quick disclaimer, none of these videos are intended to be acted upon as medical advice. Please pause the video here and read this disclaimer its entirety before moving on. With no further ado, stay well, keep learning, and let's get to the video. All right, everybody, thanks for sticking around. So if you watch those other videos, this is all going to sound very familiar. If you haven't, uh, this might sound not as familiar, but hopefully you have a good foundation. So this is part of our ventilator, ventilator series. As we've, as we've mentioned, we have done a handful of ventilator videos, including VC and PC scalers in different videos. We also, this is our pulmonology playlist. Also have talked about auto peep breath stacking, air trapping. We've talked about double triggering, premature cycling, breath stacking, flow starvation, uh, introductory concepts. So uh, again, we'll link all this in the video description. Uh, super interesting videos and we'd love for you to check them out and let us know what you think. Uh, today though, volume control and pressure control scalers side by side. So these two modes of ventilation give breaths to the patient in different ways, right? So if you're on a ventilator, you are intubated, you have to select a mode of ventilation that the patient is going to receive. In adults, many times that mode is volume control. Not all the time, um, but many times, at least in the United States, I guess I can't speak for other countries, um, that is going to be volume control or VC. And it's usually assist control, volume control. Again, we'll just call it volume control uh, for the sake of brevity in this video. Another type of ventilation though is pressure control. And in the pediatric world, uh, sometimes pressure control is the go-to. And in the adults, uh, sometimes you'll find adults on pressure control as well, depending on the clinical scenario going on. But these two modes of ventilation give different scalers, right? And these are scalers. It's pressure over time, flow over time, and volume over time. And you can often identify the mode of ventilation based on their scalar. And understanding the mode of ventilation and the scalers helps you understand exactly how you're delivering that breath to the patient on the ventilator, when to use each different mode, and what might be causing different ventilator desynchrony or ventilator problems. Apologies. Um, so here we have the scalar side by side. We talked in these other videos about three different ways or things that the ventilator needs to decide every time it gives a breath. And those are the trigger, again, this might sound familiar, the trigger, the target, and the cycle. And again, just in brief, the trigger is, uh, the ventilator is not a thinking person, right? It needs these start points and end points. Um, it needs to know what we want it to do. And the trigger is when the ventilator decides to start a breath, what is triggering the start of a breath. And the trigger for both pressure control and volume control is time, which makes sense, right? 
because we're setting a respiratory rate on the ventilator and that respiratory rate is gonna be given over one minute. And if we set that respiratory rate at 20, that's 20 breaths every 60 seconds or one breath, right, every three seconds. And in assist control, right, this is assist control, volume control, assist control, pressure control. In assist control, the patient can also take their own breaths and that counts towards the 20. But if the ventilator, let's just say the patient isn't breathing, every three seconds that ventilator is going to give a breath because we said 20 breaths per minute and that's the trigger every three seconds that go by the pa the ventilator is going to be triggered to give a breath the target is what the endpoint is during that breath what we want the ventilator to target during that breath and in pressure control that target is the pressure we set we told the ventilator that we want it to give a certain pressure each breath. So that's what it's going to target, right? We set, let's say it's pressure control and we set the inspiratory pressure at 20 millimeters of mercury. That ventilator says, okay, every breath I'm going to target 20 millimeters of mercury of pressure. That's what I'm pushing in. And whatever volume that creates is the volume that creates. In volume control, that target is actually the flow. And we'll come back to why this makes sense after we go over the cycle. The cycle is when the ventilator ends the breath or cycles the breath. And in pressure control, that's time. That's time again, right? The ventilator gives, we tell the ventilator that it's gonna give this pressure, it's gonna target this pressure over a certain amount of time, and when that time is done, the ventilator stops giving the breath, all right? In volume control, that cycle is actually the volume, the tidal volume, how many cc's or milliliters of air the patient is getting with each breath. And that's why flow makes sense, right? Because flow is cc's over unit time. Let's just say seconds, cc's per second. So if we set a tidal volume, if we say we want the patient to get 400, now let's say 500 cc's per breath, and we're just making up numbers here, but let's just say that breath uh, is gonna be over two seconds. That means we want that ventilator to flow. Flow is the uh, um, cc's per second of air the ventilator's pushing in. So we want that ventilator to give 250 cc's per second of air with each breath because we know then that it'll get to 500 cc's and then it will cycle, it'll end the breath, right? It'll say, I got to 500 cc's, I'm ending the breath. But what it's targeting is actually the flow. Um, but it bases the flow on the tidal volume that you set for the patient. And again, if this may, doesn't make a lot of sense or if these, this is all foreign concepts to you, definitely check out those two other videos linked in the video description. So the, what it is targeting and how it is cycling determines the scalars that you're seeing. So if we go up here, right, we said that the target for each breath in pressure control, so this is going to be pressure control uh, on the left and on the right is going to be volume control. So we said the target in pressure control is actually the pressure that we're setting. So this is the target. Oop, that's not how you spell target. Good enough. This is the target. In volume control, we said the flow is the target, right? If you remember target, we said the flow is the target. So in volume control, this is the target. And you might know, I don't know why we keep spelling that wrong. You might notice um, something. And that is that the target in each mode of ventilation and we're gonna erase this just so this doesn't confuse people because it's not related. Um, you can see the target in each mode of ventilation creates this flat top, right? In pressure control, you get the flat top for the target because it's targeting the pressure. In volume control, you get the flat top in flow because it's targeting flow. And why that makes sense is the target that the ventilator is going to, it targets that and then it just holds it constant for the breath. So in pressure control, Let's just say you set the pressure, the inspiratory pressure, we'll just say IP, you set it at 20 millimeters of mercury. And that is what the ventilator's targeting. So each breath, it just shoots up to 20 millimeters of mercury, right? This is pressure versus time. So this is 20 millimeters and it just holds it there for the duration of the breath and then just releases the pressure and it goes back down. In volume control, you're setting a tidal volume and the ventilator is doing some math to figure out the flow it needs to give that tidal volume. And then with each breath, it ranks, ranches up to that flow, right? So this is flow. And let's just say you're just making stuff up as 250 cc's per second. And it just holds the flow there. And then when the breath is done, it releases the flow and it shoots back down. 
And as we talked about in the other videos, this is expiration when it's going uh, back to uh, uh, when expiring out of all the air. So the target of each mode creates the flat top scalar. And then that means the other one isn't flat topped. It's a, it's a uncontrolled variable that results. So in volume control, you can see that the pressure scalar ramps up because this is an uncontrolled variable. The ventilator is going up to a certain flow and it's leaving the flow there. And as that flows into the lungs, the pressure in the lungs get higher, higher, higher until the flow stops, at which point that pressure drops way back down until the next breath. All right. So that's why the pressure scalar and volume control ramps up. Whereas the pressure scalar and pressure control is that flat top because in pressure control, that's the target. All right. Same thing for flow and pressure control, right? So the pressure is the target. Thus, the flow ramps up when it gets to that pressure, when the pressure is ramping up, then it holds the pressure constant in pressure control. So the flow is still positive, right? You're still getting positive flow into your lungs, but um, it holds it constant. So that flow isn't as um, robust. It starts to slowly decrease until expiration. And again, we go into more detail um, in those other two videos. And then the volume scalars for both pressure control here and volume control, you can see are pretty much equal because you're getting a inspiration and expiration for each breath, inspiration, expiration. Uh, and that volume that goes in and out should be the same, right? The same volume that goes in should come out independent of the mode of ventilation. So the big differences in scalars for mode of ventilation are the pressure scalar and the flow scalar. And what to remember is the target that the ventilator does for each different mode. So in pressure control, remember the target is pressure. So you get the flat top for the pressure scaler. In volume control, that target is flow. So you get the flat top for flow. And if we go up here, pressure control, you get the flat top for pressure. Vol uh, volume control, you get the flat top for flow. All right. So hopefully that was helpful. Again, this is just bringing those two other videos together. So definitely check those out. Let us know what thoughts, comments, questions you have down below. As always, we appreciate you all. Stay well, keep learning. Subscribe, hit the bell button, check out our other videos. Let us know what you think, and we'll see you next time.